What's up, Nate Eight Gang? It's your boy Nate Eight Gamers, and I'm back with another reaction video. And as you can tell from the title of the video, we'll be getting into Jay Williams in jail and calls LeBron to go after his four MVP finals. Now, yes, bro, um, LeBron won a championship, bro. I ain't gonna say LeBron. The Lakers won a championship, bro. This was a collective win for the Lakers today. Like the Lakers won this shit today, bro. And I just can't believe to say that Kyle Kuzma got a fucking ring. It could have been Lonzo. It could have been Lonzo, bro, but it was it was like it was Kyle Kuzma, bro. Can't believe that shit. But man, it's not even about that, bro. We about to get into this goat talk, bro. You already see, you know what they talking about. You know what they gonna be talking about all summer. Goat, and they might be talking about a little bit of Giannis. What where, where they think he gonna go at? I feel like Giannis gonna stay where he at. People feel like Giannis going Warriors. I don't know, but um. Yes, bro. I feel like LeBron is the GOAT, bro. I feel like that last, um, the last championship he won, bro, it's just, it was amazing what he did, the, the championship in Cleveland. To come back in 3-1, to win it in your hometown, I don't see nothing better than that, bro. I don't see no other, nobody championship is going to be better than that. To come back 3-1, I'm pretty sure everybody doubting you, laughing, all this and that, or LeBron don't win, and LeBron came back 3-1. Led the led the finals in every statistical category you could think of, and came back and won that championship, man. And then he gonna come back and punish the Heat in Game Six of the NBA Finals and win another one. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's get him straight into it. We gonna talk about it. We gonna talk about it. We gonna talk about it today. The 2020 NBA champion has been crowned, and it is the Los Angeles Lakers taking home their 17th title back to the city of Angels. 17 titles. They tied Long with the Celtics. We've got Jalen Rose and Jay Williams here. And you heard Mike Breen and the gang talking about it. This season has been long. It's been over a year since we watched our first preseason game. We lost the commissioner, David Stern. We've lost Kobe Bryant. We've dealt with the pandemic and also social unrest. And these players have been in a bubble. When you look back on this season, what will you remember? I'm proud of our league. I'm proud of the advertisers. I'm proud of all of the corporations that supported the 29 messages that were on the back of the jerseys, that Black Lives Matter were on the floor, the sacrifices that the players made by entering the bubble and actually completing a season and giving us a champion. So to Lakers fans and their organization is well deserved. They earned it. And big shout to LeBron James. He said he wanted his respect, Jay Will. He's going to get his respect because guess what we're going to be talking about all summer? Who's the GOAT? <laughs> we're going to be talking about who's the GOAT. And there will be a lot of people that never saw Michael Jordan uh-huh. It's going to feel like it's LeBron James. Absolutely. I mean, this is one of the more trying seasons based on a lot of things you said emotionally. So uh, so LeBron going to have to win one, actually two more titles. But if he win one more MVP, what can you say? Physically, if he win five ball, MVPs and five and titles, play, what can you say? Because this right here, this Bill Russell situation... I just feel like Bill Russell is the best winner in the NBA history. He's not the best player. Michael Jordan, you already know how I feel about that. Kareem, ah, but my, but bro, and it's and it's not even about the titles, bro. It's about the player. We're saying who the best player in the NBA. We're not saying who the best winner. If y'all won't keep going off titles, we could say Bill Russell is the best player in the NBA. If we going off players. We going off how they play in the game, you know, how they lead their team. LeBron James almost had a triple double each game. I think he, I think he was like one assist shy of a triple double each game, bro. I think one of the games he had like thirty three ninety nine. But other every other game, bro, he was amazing, you know, bro. Our boy from the Los Angeles Lakers, LeBron James, he took a leap. Okay, he took a he leap took a tonight. Leap. You heard that from Paul Phil. Tonight, three MVPs, three final MVPs, three different franchises, three different franchises, four MVPs, regular season. He's the second greatest player. The fucking second. The fucking second. Bro, the second. Niggas say he's the second, bro. But I mean, it's Paul Pierce, so I can't really knock him. 
he ain't even had LeBron in his top five. Now you saying he's the second in NBA history? I got to take you, bro. Michael Jordan, oh. That's a long, that's a long step for you. That's a, that's a big move for you. Absolutely. <laughs> big move. And he's still going. Yes, he's still, he going. still going. He still has a chance to catch him. You guys all know where I stand with, with LeBron James. I, I will say this. Say their names first and foremost. Yes, sir. First and foremost, that's, that's what this season, this completion of the season has been about to me. Congratulations to the Lakers for their 17th championship, LeBron James. But, I, you know, I think a couple weeks ago I said this would be the biggest championship I think LeBron has ever gotten. Granted, on the court challenges, incredible odds, right, to go against this, being away from your family, everything that dealt with the pandemic. But more than a vote, like that is the most important thing that we've been talking about. And for everybody to go out and vote, and also the fact that a huge applause to Adam Silver and the NBA. Same with the NHL. Not one COVID case. Mm -hmm. Not one. Like the amount of attention to detail you need in order to pull something like this off throughout this kind of year, like it's a round of applause to them. And also, to be honest, this is kind of what the Lakers do. They've been able to reinvent themselves in each decade. So you can draft West and Magic and Kobe but they're able to lure all-time great players. Yeah. They continue to do that. I saw it happen with Will, Kareem, Shaq. Now you get LeBron and AD. These are all transplanted all-time great players that decided to go to Los Angeles to be a part of one of the greatest organizations of all time. And that man, number 23, delivered. Listen, he did another triple-double for LeBron James delivered. in this game. And also, we heard Frank Bull fans. This team earned a PhD in adversity. I feel like in this, at this time in LeBron's career, we know he could score the ball. We know he could go out there and get 30 and 40 a game. We know that. LeBron know that. What LeBron want to show you is, is that he know how to win now. You know what I'm saying? LeBron understands why y'all not saying he's the best. Because he's not winning. So he's starting to become that winner. And y'all can see how he had AD on his team. Man, forget all that, bro. You got to have a duo to win in this league. You can't do it by yourself. Stop putting all this pressure on LeBron to do it by himself. And y'all get mad when LeBron get a duo. But... When these other players get duos and they beat LeBron, y'all see LeBron bad. Which one do y'all want? Like, what do y'all want him to do at this point? You say he couldn't do it in the West. He did it in the West. Where you want him to go now? The South? Like, where you want him to go? There's nowhere for him to go. They had to deal with he, uh, he did it. ways both, to have ingenuity. Both, both How are we going to practice? He How are we going to find ways to stay in shape? And then just making their way back into the bubble and having some kind of control uh, over their mentals and physical abilities. Guys, it's been a pleasure to serve with you Great this season. entire NBA season. I mean, I can't believe it, but we've made it through. Like I, I said, it, it was a week ago that we had our first preseason game, our first live television show. Wow. And we have to say thank you to all of the people who are behind the cameras who have helped us make it this far. Our Great season, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Thanks out to the NBA fans, too, for riding with us. Absolutely. 12 months to get a champion. Hey, those first Appreciate you, dog. Continue to show out, and now you're awarded with a 2020 champion. Well, no offense to none of these players. Look who won the fucking championship. Bro, Giannis brother won one before him. The Raiders, J.R. Smith, Adam Caruso, Marquis. Bro, stop saying that this team, and these dudes play excellent. These dudes are, they are great players. But stop saying that this team was stacked. Bro, I hate when people say that. They say this team's stacked, but then you're going to sit there and call people like Caldwell Pope, Kuzma, all them dudes sad. This is a seasoned veteran team with a with a leader like LeBron James. It's going to be hard, bro. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to beat them. LeBron James is a big difference. That's a big difference. Y'all gotta understand that, bro. And hey, I gotta uh show some. You gotta show some respect to him. And I never, I never did it, but I apologize on behalf of Lakers fans. Whoever, like, just so disrespectful to send death threats to him and his family because of a missed shot. You're up three two. What are you crying for? Okay, you didn't win him in Kobe jersey. He missed a shot. You know what I'm saying? Dead threat now? Like, y'all worried as shit for that, bro. On our 2020 season. Send that fucking man dead threat, bro. Uh-oh. Your first NBA Finals.
Yes. Your first, first title. NBA championship. When you imagined, when you were growing up back on the playgrounds of Chicago, this moment, how does the reality stack up with the dream? You can't even put it into words. To be out here and grind with these guys for a full 12 months, you know, been through a lot of ups and downs, a lot of 12 moments, months. a lot of tough moments. And to hear that home go off and we NBA champions, uh, it's just a real feeling. I'm just happy with these guys. You told me for years when you couldn't get into the playoffs sometimes in New Orleans, all you wanted was the chance to test yourself, to be there at the end when the competition was the highest. What you were able to do, especially defensively, during this finals, what did you learn about yourself? You that you were monster. It's tough. It's tough on the body. Um, it's a lot of hard work. But these guys push me every day, um, especially Bron and, and Doe. You know, they always on me about being great, being better. You know, Look at that defense. Oh, my God. <laughs> and to be able to uh, you know, win it and, and grind and see how tough it is and see this feeling and want this feeling again. You know, that's what it's about, to get this feeling <laughs> and want this feeling again. And like I said, I'm happy with these guys. Man, we've been through a lot. Man, to ups and downs, start. From the beginning of the season. And he said he wanted to kill him again. I love these guys. <laughs> yeah, get down, bro. Yeah, jiggle for me. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Anthony. Ooh. 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 Yeah, bro. Ooh. He's a big brother to you for the rest of your time through New Orleans and then coming to here. I know that you have been thinking of him. You told me before the NBA Finals, I cannot let him down. Anthony, you did. But, man, that's all for this video. So leave a like, comment, subscribe to the video. Become a part of Nate A Gang on the road to 100 subs. Oh, my bad. 200 subscribers, man. Nate A Gang is out. Peace.